Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, my name is Cosmos, welcome back to another video on my channel. In today's video my friends, I'm going to be showing you the top 5 clutches in Revelations. So, this is actually a top 4, but for the sake of just a top 5, we're calling it a top 5, but I'm only going to be showing 4 clips because I, I, I narrowed this down a fair bit to 4 amazing clips that I found in Revelations and let's get into this right now and with our number four spot we have your boy in the Revelations game round 11 you know he's just chilling he he's not expecting any goddamn clutches all right he thinks he's just OP right now round 11 he thinks he's OP goes tries to hit the box and oh my god the zombies they out of nowhere literally out of nowhere like goddamn John Cena they all the zombies are out there he's like oh, okay it's just a few zombies I can dodge these dudes but bam a magwa spawns in as well he's like oh my god we are actually screwed right now what do I do? He spins, he turns, and then... And he finally gets out. He finally gets out. He clutches up like a boss. Congratulations to this dude. Mad clutch, man. But that was our number four spot. So, ladies and gentlemen, coming in at number three spot is another guy. Well, I'm assuming it's a guy. It might be a girl. Another person here that was just playing around. You know, he goes to the OP camping spot. And then a panzer spawns in. He's like, oh, Jesus, what the hell do I do? I've only got the goddamn Apothecan Servant. That doesn't kill him. So, oh, my God. He gets, he puts it down. He gets absolutely smashed by the panzer. He gets hit. And then he's all red. He's like, oh, I'm screwed. He just absolutely spams his Apothecan Servant. The uh, panzer gets stuck in there. And he, he somehow clutches it and somehow gets out of that stinky situation. I'm not sure how I do this. I don't know sure how this guy did it. But I think he's a, I think he's a god, all right? I think he's a god. Guys, so... Once we get into a number two spot, this starts to get really goddamn interesting, all right? So, we have another person here. He's just playing a game of Revelations. He's going to pack a punch. He's a Pothecan servant and all of that other stuff. He goes into the big Pothecan and he goes to a po uh, pack a punch a few of his guns. And he's just like, okay, this is just pretty chill right here. I'm going to go pack a punch my Pothecan servant so I can wreck some noobs. He puts his Pothecan servant in the pack a punch and he finds himself in a little bit of a tricky situation. He doesn't have his Pothecan servant and all these zombies are absolutely crowding him around he's just waiting for this apothecan servant to come out and his shield is getting battered his shield is getting battered his apothecan servant finally comes out he grabs it and he shoots the zombies in the last second if he waited uh, one millisecond extra he would have been absolutely destroyed man by them zombies but somehow he clutches out of it in our number one spot my friends we have the god the god himself who just, I don't even know what he did. He's just a god. Everybody bow down to this guy, man. He is a god. So he's sitting here with the death machine, just yeah, battering zombies away like it's nothing. And then he moves down over to the tombstones and he looks behind him. He's like, oh crap, man. There is literally a hundred zombies. How is he going to clutch out of this? With some spinning, some tearing, some jumping around in circles. He makes it out. Somehow, this dude, he goes to the portal back to Mob of the Dead of Iraq. Which one is it? I don't know. But he, he makes it, boys. He makes it. This legend somehow makes it out of that death trap there with all them keepers and all them zombies. I don't know how he does it, but everybody, go bow down to this guy. And man, that was a very good clutch. So I hope you guys went on to enjoy this video. If you did, make sure you leave it a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed yet, make sure you go along and do that as well. But anyway, my friends, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.